all I can remember, and that was um, fused a bit with later as well, how every young boy weren't just happy at getting a bit of shrapnel, but it had to be warm shrapnel uh, because, you know, often it, that came down and it was elsewhere, you know, from the anti-aircraft guns as well, I suppose. And, um, you know, the, the shock was to pick it up and almost have it too hot in your hand. I think without a shadow of doubt, almost all of them were very impressive, you know, when you heard them talking because, uh, you know, they were in a relaxed way and uh, like, likewise the ladies too. And, um, you know, I was very impressed with who they were and what they'd done. So you're not going to pick out any of them as being particularly memorable? That's a very interesting question. Um, I don't think so, really, because I, w I was impressed with all that, <laughs> each and every one of them. You know, what they'd seen and their, their wartime experiences and that. And also what many of them had done after the war as well. And a few of them before the war. Um, you know, and in many ways, of course, I'd slightly done my homework to, to pick who I was interested in. Um, and um, some of that was um, planned in a way to try and get the width of the coverage of the war. And I think it ended up roughly, if my memory is correct, and it's not far out, that it was 40% air and 30% uh, army and 20% navy and 10% civilian and resistance. And, um, you know, that might also reflect roughly um, the importance because obviously a large part of it was an air war as well. Um, I was very fortunate to meet the Americans too and so many of them in such a short time when I flew over to um, Los Angeles and that was triggered almost by a minor miracle when there was a special offer, believe it or not, um, because people weren't flying after 9-11. Uh, 99 pounds return, <laughs> a special deal to Los Angeles and that's exactly what I did. I jumped on that on the on the sales side I mean it's really uh, it's really the I don't want any profit for it or anything uh, it's, it's really as a commemoration a tribute to these people because and the whole war effort because in a way they reflected um, you know from civilians that were mixed up like the splendid um, uh, firemen in London and uh, to uh, people who'd been in the front line, you know, in, first of all in the First World War, uh, just three from there, and um, so many in World War Two, which of course was the largest, really, uh, battle in history, wasn't it? Or extended uh, series of battles and war, warfare, and um, goodness me, thank goodness, you know that. I mean, it was interesting later to see the Cold War and um, have some involvement in that when the border was fairly hot later on, you know, and we really took our job very seriously when I was flying in second TAF uh, in RAF Germany. But, um, you know, let's hope that never happens again. And it, it I think in many ways the, um, the whole scale and to some extent the terror and um, problems of World War II have been a, a, a significant um, warning, I think, about, um, about, about how it's got to be avoided.